Today we're talking about respawning and reincarnation. And, uh, you know, I think the best kept secret in the world is that life doesn't end when we die. And this is something that pretty much every religion believes. It's something that we see in video games in a really silly way. When you die, you respawn in some fashion. Your character might be killed off, but the game will go on. And we also see evidence of this in real life all the time. We look at trees, for example, and the trees will grow, and perhaps a tree is cut down, but it doesn't cease to be part of nature. It will ultimately be recycled into other materials and reformed into life, just in a different way. We have no reason to believe that this is different for us. To the contrary, when we perish, we do go back into the pool of resources that together make existence, and new life is indeed formed from what was once previous forms of life. And yet, we don't really see our lives as being part of a greater whole. We see our lives as being islands, and we think that we have to accomplish something specific, and if we don't get our way, if our life doesn't go according to plan, maybe we will waste our lives. Maybe things will just all add up to our lives amounting for too little. These are fears which plague us often, and they really shouldn't. Because no matter what you believe, no matter what your method of rationalizing your place in the universe, whether that's a idea that arises from faith or one that comes from liberal science, the truth is that we are part of something greater than ourselves. We are part of something that is a greater whole. And, ultimately, we are also connected to all of the life which will emerge after our time in the sun is over. It's important to remember that, because when you realize this, that you're part of something greater than yourself, and life will go on, consciousness in all of its living forms will continue to endure and future generations and iterations of life will continue to draw off of your own life, your own life energy today. It kind of can be a cause for hope, a cause for letting go just a little bit, a cause for being a little bit less stressed out about whether life goes your way today. Because it really doesn't have to all get done in your lifetime. It's okay if some of the experiences you miss out on are experienced perhaps by a future generation, by some intelligence that emerges after you are dust. And we do see this in the teachings of religion. Perhaps we see it a little less in the teachings of liberal sciences, as there is a certain idea that tends to propagate in liberal circles that life itself has no particular value, that we're just a random accident that has no meaning or purpose. And I think that's where the liberal arts and sciences stand to benefit from some of the philosophies of faith and religion. 
Certainly, in the classical world, we did see a fusing of the two. Probably the best fusing of the two that I've seen is ideas that correlate with Taoism or some of the Eastern philosophies, where thought and religion, where reason and faith are not necessarily seen as separate things. In any case, what we can know is that we are part of something that we can't fully understand. And what it all means, we don't really know. But probably the truth is that life is more like a video game than we actually realize. Maybe that's part of why we like video games so much. Because they illustrate, in terms we can understand, a concept that we know and feel, but can't quite put into words. That life isn't really as serious or as temporary as we tend to think it is. So, let go a little bit. And remember this phrase, festina lente. Make haste slowly. Represented by the symbol of the tortoise and the hare. Or perhaps a rabbit emerging from the shell of a turtle. Be interested and active and inclined to make a positive difference in your life. Do invest in yourself. But also be patient, because things don't have to happen on your timeline. They don't have to happen right now. And it's actually okay if some things just go unfinished. It's kind of like if I stressed out about all the different games I could be playing, all the titles that I've never gotten around to, and then I didn't actually enjoy the experience of the game I'm playing right now. That would be rather silly, wouldn't it? And yet we kind of do that all the time with our lives. It's okay if there's some titles you just never get around to. Because I'm sure if I don't play that game, somebody else will. More than enough for the both of us. Let things be what they are. Be interested, but not obsessed. Be proactive, but not fixated on getting things done so much that you don't enjoy the experience of life. Till next time, thank you for watching.